more people will be cleaner. I feel like they'll start cleaning more, you know, washing their hands more. Is that why she started washing her hair? Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, my name is Charlie. Please consider subbing before you exit this video. Now in today's video, I am going to be reacting to Amberlynn's recent quarantine tag. Now this does sound like something she would have done a couple of years ago. I know, what was it, a week or two ago she mentioned that she's going to be uploading the things she wants. Honestly, I'm just happy going into this knowing she's not going to be eating because it would have been in the thumbnail. So let's get right into the video. Hey guys, so I thought I would throw it back to the old style of YouTube and do a tag. I saw some other people oh, do it and I was like, okay. I promise you, everything in me wanted to be like, yes, yeah, throw it back in a circle. Alexa, play Sweetie My Type. I promise you, if Amberlynn ever truly throws it back on YouTube, I am going to lose my shit. She do have a donkey now, so don't doubt her. I've done a few tags before and I figured this would be actually a really good one to do. It is the quarantine tag, which I might be a little late on the ball game because all of a sudden, you know, states are opening as of right now when we're making this video. And don't um, me. I don't understand the thought process and I don't agree with it, but that's me. I live in my Florida. Thoughts, my thoughts don't always matter. So I'm going to answer these 17 questions. I think it'd be really fun if you were <sighs> watching this. I tag you. <laughs> I literally feel like I'm I, not doing this in the past where YouTube first started and they're like, I tag you, I tag blah, blah, Okay. So question number one is what's the thing you miss? If she actually had friends who were willing to say that they were her friends and not secretly her friends, as far as creators, I think she would be able to tag them. But her YouTube friends actually won't admit publicly that her, they're her friends, which is honestly kind of sad. I understand with her reputation, but if I'm friends with someone who doesn't have the best reputation, I'm not going to hide that I'm friends with them. I may not address my disagreements with some of their actions publicly depending on what it is but let's be clear she has content creator friends they're just not willing to say they're her friends publicly and she deserves better than that actually now that i think about it if you're gonna be my friend be my friend with your chest not privately slash wish you did before so the thing that i miss is hanging out with friends i miss being able to just leave the house i miss being able to go out to eat that's me and dana a lot of people miss that more than you think because it's more than just food, obviously. It's just, it's the atmosphere. It's, I usually always went out to eat with friends. I lied. Maybe I will do some of these within this video. I'm not going to do my own. Now, what I miss the most, no secret to anyone, is the gym. And it's something I've been struggling with and I've been talking to a few friends about. Like, for me, the gym was more than just, you know, a place you work out. It's a place I went to cope, depending on some of the things I was going through. However, with it being taken away, which I never thought the gym would be taken away. I thought in my mind, the only time the gym is taken away from someone is if you stop your membership or you get injured and you can't go or you just quit altogether. I never thought of this happening, so I wasn't prepared. So for me, that's where I've been struggling. Her going out to eat. I mean, she didn't go to the gym. She didn't really work out. She really didn't do much. So I understand why she would miss that. But I'm worried that once quarantine is up, if she starts doing those activities, if that's what she's missing and she goes full steam ahead, going into a restaurant, going out to eat, she can really unravel a lot of the work she's done while in quarantine. I'm not going to lie. One of the first places I'm going once this is lifted is to the gym. To the gym. I might sleep there overnight. I'm kidding. That's illegal. But I'm also not kidding. I am going to the gym to the point that I may hurt myself. I don't plan to hurt myself, but I'm going to be attached to the gym. Me and the gym will be as one. Partners in crime until the end of time. And Becky, and it's just a way to hang out with people and sit around and talk. Obviously, you can do that at home as well, but not right now. Um, what I wish I did before TJ Maxx, <laughs> because I have been planning to go to TJ Maxx for a while, and buy a new purse because sometimes I itch for a new purse and I wish I would have done that and I didn't. That's okay. Next question is, what's the first thing you're doing when this is over? Hanging out with friends. 100% I am hanging out with all my friends because I miss them. There are a couple groups of friends that, you know, we've been talking and we're just like, I wish we could hang out. You know, 
like I said, the first thing I'm doing, I'm going to the gym and I'm hanging out with my trainer, even outside the gym, because she lives relatively close to me. I'm going to hang out with her. I'm going to hang out with my sister. Um, I probably won't be doing any big group settings, one or two people the most, because even when this is lifted, I feel like there are certain precautions we need to take. I honestly feel like there's certain things I'll change moving forward in general, but that's one of the first things I'm going to do. I'm going to wait a while until I go get a manicure or pedicure because my feet look like Amy's life journey's feet right now. And that says a lot. That, that says a lot. However, those things are just an inconvenience. Me not getting my nails and feet done. Me going to the gym, it's a way of life. It helps with my hum mental health. And I never really, un I think I underestimated how much the gym helps with my mental health until I got here in quarantine. There is that option of them being able to come over. People are doing it. People are still doing it. I go on my Snapchat and there are people that I follow who are still hanging out with their friends. And oh, my friend did that the other these, day. Like, get and I just don't agree with it. That's just it took me. everything in me um, not to DM um, her and curse her out. My friends to come over and stay for like... And there was a lot of them. And I just, I don't think that's right right now. So definitely hang out with friends. What's the hardest part about social distancing? I am putting myself in Becky's shoes, and I'm going to say the fact that she can't be with her mom right now, because I feel like that's really important, and it's just, it's, it's... Hold on, my phone. I normally have my phone on silent. Unfortunately, I forgot this time around. Sorry for the interruption. It's not safe. Um, they talk on the phone as much as possible, and I like that, but it's just, that is by far the hardest part. Or... Probably things like people's weddings. Being oh, this canceled. is what I was going to say. Technically, they still want to go see her mom. Certain things were placed in order in Kentucky. Zach did a great video on that, so definitely check that out. I'll link it below in the description box. So I'm guessing that's the only time they did it, and then they took the order seriously, although they should have taken it seriously from the beginning. I haven't seen my sister since this all has started. Granted, she's not going through what Becky's mom is going through, so I can understand Becky suffering a bit more being away from her. However, they did originally go see her at one point, so. And she knows this, so I'm surprised she would bring this up. Don't speak for Becky, just speak for yourself, girl. That's sad. Or like really big moments, graduation, prom. Yeah, I feel bad for them. That's, that's really hard. Um, people who lost their jobs. It's, it's a lot. Describe oh, your mood in one word. Worried. Spotify or Netflix? Netflix. I've been doing both, but I'm going to say Spotify because I love me a good a good song. Last tune you played, it was probably something by Banks. She is amazing. It's the uh, Savage remix with Beyonce on it, Megan Thee Stallion. Oh my God, when I tell you guys, if you have not listened to that remix, Beyonce went off and Beyonce knows about OnlyFans, so it's time that I start my OnlyFans. Like, at this point, when Beyonce mentions OnlyFans, it's time to put certain things in action. I'm kidding, I'm not starting my OnlyFans right now, although it may be in the future. Look out for it. And that's not I a joke. I have been listening to her for years. Um, seven years or more. Um, I remember how I found her out is because I was watching a commercial and her song was on it. I was like, who the heck? Who the heck is that? Obsessed sense. Um, so probably something by Banks because all her songs are boss. I can listen to them over and over and over. Um, last show you watched, oh, what's it called? Secret Life of the American Teenager. Like, what am I doing? I'm running out of shows for sure. Got a quarantine oh, so ritual, much. crying, panic Same attacks. Girl. Being moody, that's that's about my ritual. Sweatpants or leggings? I wear leggings like all the time, but Same. the most comfortable is definitely sweatpants, so I'm gonna go with that. Anything you want to achieve during this quarantine? Sanity. Sanity. Keeping my sanity. I want to achieve just <sighs> sticking to how I was before. You know, it was hard in the beginning. I didn't really film. I was too scared to film. I was so bombarded with emotions and fear that I just, I really couldn't do anything. So I just want to go back to my routine in the sense of I still want to film. Okay, I, I respect that. I want to act like this isn't even happening. I'm trying to do the same I thing. I be, but it's like, I just start to worry too much. So I guess I just want to achieve sticking to my YouTube. I feel like that's really important because it also distracts me and stuff like that. What's your quarantine snack? I mean, I don't really have one, to be honest. What Before she goes into that, I'm not going to lie. For, I'm going to say the first week or so of April, I wasn't posting. I was really struggling with... Everything going on in quarantine, the people that I knew were affected, the people I didn't know that were affected, and 
I didn't know if uploading a video was a slap in the face to people who were struggling because my videos are monetized. I didn't know if it made me look selfish. There was a lot of creators, not only myself, who were struggling with the idea of continuing, you know, doing business as usual, uploading videos. But a common thing that a lot of supporters said is, please, we need the distraction. That was my answer. However, then I fell into this place of sadness, this place of anger, this place of not knowing how to express how I'm feeling about all the things that were going on. I knew people, I still know people with the virus. So I found myself back in the place of a supporter where I was just looking to my favorite creators to upload and get me through my day. Like every time Callie uploaded, every time Zach uploaded, every time Val on Program Situation uploaded, Danny Seuss had uploaded one video and I feel like it was a short video, but that short video meant so much you know creep show art jay keontae has been uploading non-stop so many of my favorite creators were able to push through and i was kind of sitting there in limbo not knowing how to explain to my supporters i want to film and now that you gave me the answer on if i should film now i don't want to film and i don't know how to film because i need i need support right now i need a distraction right now I need anything outside of being in my own head right now and I know that sounds so dramatic and I'm past that just to be clear when it comes to strong feelings like that I'm not gonna come up here and talk about it when I'm going through it I'll talk about it afterwards that's what I'm talking about it now but that's what I was going through and then I had issues going on within my family and just so many things surrounding me and it wasn't something I couldn't push through, but it's just pushing through things during this quarantine just seems 10 times harder. Obstacles just seem so much harder. And it's something I was struggling with for a while, most of April, if not almost all of April. But this past week has been the week to show me like, no, you're stronger than this. You're gonna push through this and nothing is going to stop you. Yes, you are alone right now, but you have so much support out there. And one of the things that have kept me pushing and going with these uploads, because I've, I'm trying to pre-record some stuff and just push out content, are those comment sections. I'm not gonna lie, the comment section, as much as people don't like my comment section, my comment section, I love my comment section. I love the engagement, I love the support, I love my DMs. I've been trying to get better with like catching up with my DMs and stuff, but if you guys don't know, let me be the one to tell you. As much as you like my content and you're saying it's keeping you entertained through quarantine, let me make something clear. You guys are keeping me standing straight through quarantine because there's a lot of times I just want to be in the fetal position in my closet crying and when I post the video and I try to engage with in the comments and people are tweeting at me you know saying they enjoyed the video it's it's everything to me I appreciate it before I'm not gonna lie but being in this quarantine by myself truly by myself just me and my cat that's the only interactions I have right now outside of, you know, phone calls with friends. and t It's just the way you guys speak to me, the way you guys support me, it just hits me different. I've had people DMing me just to check up on me and I've been practicing being more transparent and honest with how I'm feeling right now. And to the people, you, you guys know who you are, who's reached out and knew something was wrong, even though I'm uploading, I appreciate you guys. And I'm not gonna go, I mean, I already went on a long rant, but um, just thank you. And please stay strong through this, guys. I, I am not the strongest person. I'm not, I am not. I have a big mouth, but I'm not the strongest person. I have a lot of fight in me though. And I hope you continue to fight with me. I don't know. <laughs> Some days I don't know what tomorrow brings. I really don't. But we got this. We got this. I should get back to reacting. What scares you the most? Millions dying. That is probably what scares me the most. It's because if that's the case, then someone you know, someone you know is going to pass away from this. And I don't like thinking about it. Are you reading? If so, what chapter are you on? I'm not reading. I definitely need to get into reading again because I'm, I'm about to start reading a book. And I have actually. a lot of graphic novels I can read. Who's the last person you spoke to? Becky. What's one non-tech thing you can't live without? 
myself. Fappy, Twinkie, Wasabi, Rarity. Oh, non-tech. <laughs> I need to work on my listening skills. Non-tech, what I can't live without. Yeah, my family, my friends. Yeah. Um, what's your battery level at on my phone or me as a person? Because my battery level as a person, zero. Maybe 1%. I'm holding on by 1%. Like, let's be real. I'm a solid 40% right, right now. 70 or 60, like around there. My phone's the probably. Question is, is there any there. silver linings in this? I feel like that's. Okay. First of all, before I answer, the lighting is horrendous. You guys are sitting in front of a beautiful window. And usually the lighting's pretty decent, but it is raining. It's going to be storming soon. I want that card again. It's super dark. For it's clouds so nice. out there. No sun in sight. I don't even know how it's peeking through the freaking clouds right now to make daylight because they're the clouds are dark. So I do want to apologize about that. Mm -hmm. um, but we're just going to have to continue on. Any silver linings in this? What I've been thinking lately and what I've been talking to my friends about is that after this is all over, I feel like a large part of people might learn to be more compassionate. I feel like people might start taking things like the flu more seriously more people will be cleaner. I feel like they'll start cleaning more, you know, washing their hands more. Is that why she started washing her hair? Not only the USA together, but the whole world together. We are True. all going through this together. And Somewhat. I kind of hate that phrase. It's so scary. Sometimes We're not like, really all in it together. We're fighting. So We're all fighting, but... I look at the numbers and I just... It's unbelievable that they are opening states and i know a lot of people want their job back and i know a lot of people missing their friends a lot of people missing their family or <laughs> oh, uh, there's people who say that like nail salons are essential and i just i have my opinions okay, i do not agree with that i just this isn't gonna end this isn't gonna end anytime soon by opening states and it's so scary and sorry listen my nails my Gel nails have been running from my cuticles for weeks now. They have almost escaped at this point. Nails are not an essential. My pedicures are not an essential. That's not it. But I will say this, as far as the compassion part, I have a newfound, different level. Because I've always had respect for essential workers, but it's at a different level. Cashiers. The cashier at Walgreens the other day, I spoke to her probably longer than I should have, but I don't get a lot of in-person interaction but she did say she appreciated it and unfortunately she did mention you know people have been nasty to her which I will not understand cashiers all type of essential workers nurses doctors if you're out here while I'm in here my level of respect for you has grown even more and that's what I hope amongst a lot of things comes out of this quarantine the level of respect of the people who risk their lives not only to provide for themselves and their families but to have us be okay and get us through this so please thank the next person your mailman the next cashier the next emt worker the next gas station attendant that you see truly thank them don't say like thank you you know for getting your change or whatever like truly thank them say thank you thank you. like literally look at them and say thank you and make sure they understand what you're saying thank you for because it matters to them it really does because that walgreens um cashier she she just appreciated me having a conversation with her and thanking her and it was so weird to me that she found that to be so great it wasn't that great i was holding a conversation with someone who was servicing me and helping me i don't know i just have a lot of opinions on it um another silver lining is pollution is better the i feel like nature in general just feels happier because we're all indoors <laughs> like you know a lot of us are indoors there are a lot of us not listening but a lot of us are indoors okay. and I feel like nature is just living its best life. I feel like animals are probably more at peace. Families get into, like families that like live together, like um, parents and brothers and sisters, because there are some, like especially on TikTok, there's this family I watch who are doing um, quarantine Olympics, love that. And you can tell they're all quarantined cute. together. Time like that, it's bringing people also together, but then it's like bittersweet because it's also bringing other people like farther apart. 
lies. It's scary. And now my, I was doing so good. I wasn't thinking about it at all. And then I filmed this video. I just figured, why not? This is something we're going through right now. The questions aren't so like deep. True. But this last one is what makes you start thinking. I have some opinions, you guys. You want to believe, but I don't want to offend anyone. I just, I just want this to end so people can get their jobs back. I don't want any more people getting falling ill. I don't want any more people passing on. I actually know a couple of people from my past. Not that I know them now. It's just I knew them in my past, like high school or whatever. I used to work with them years and years ago. Who, actually, one person who had who got it, who got the virus, and they are now better. Thank God. Um, a friend from high school, her mom actually is hospitalized from it. It's, it's almost like out of sight, out of mind. The less you think about it, the less you have to worry. But then when it's like in your face like that, you mm -hmm. start to really understand that this is really happening. It's really mm -hmm. going on. And I know a lot of people have their like, it's not that I doubted how serious this was from the beginning. I just didn't know. However, with that being said, similar to her, I know people who are not so close to me that have the virus, and I know people who are very close that have the virus. Actually, by the time this is uploaded a few days ago, um, I had someone very close to me in my family that we thought had the virus, and when I tell you I was tripping, like I, and I, I don't think she'll mind me saying this, but I end up calling Manal almost at midnight. Manal's a, a wife and mother with a child, you know, and she has responsibilities. I called her at almost midnight, hysterical, hysterical, because I couldn't deal with the idea of the person possibly having COVID because I'm already going through certain things with my grandfather and it was a lot and I'm grateful that I finally didn't cry myself to sleep that night. I finally just picked up the call, picked up the phone to call a friend. A lot of the times when I'm going through stuff, I do it alone. I don't know why I choose to do certain things alone, especially because, and it depends on the situation. I know I have great support from friends. It's just with this one, I felt it was the thing that was gonna break me, this quarantine, like completely break me. And I'm grateful I picked up the phone. I'm grateful I contacted her. And I have many friends outside of Monal that I could reach out to as well. I don't know why I chose her, but I'm grateful that I chose her because that night, if I didn't speak to Manal, I don't know if I would have been able to sleep. And she talked me down. She got me to a place that I can express myself without hysterically crying and being just ridiculous. And she even got me to laugh on that phone call, which if you knew everything going on, like the fact that she got me to laugh meant so much. And even Callie, I've been FaceTiming with Callie and she's been just such a rock to me. So many people, as much as a lot of people don't think we may be clicky or whatever like we're, we have real friendships when these cameras turn off you know and zach has been checking on me michael has been so many people i don't know if they know it's because like i don't like to bother people or dm them but there's so many people who have made it a point to check on so many people and stay connected and make sure we're staying good and even if it's just us laughing about nonsense it's it just feel good to know that even through all this, there are people who unconditionally care for you and want the best for you. Really want the best for you. Even if the best in this moment is just getting through this day. And I don't know why I feel like talking so much during this reaction. I think it's because the last few days, I think I've held a lot in, realized a lot of things and just, I don't know, I just feel like talking. Either way, my point is, I get what she's saying. It hits different when you know someone. It, it really does. This quarantine is hitting a lot of people, but it does hit different when you know people who's going through it. It really does. Thoughts where they're like, this isn't real. This is just the media, da, da. But then when you start realizing that people that you know are getting it, or people that you know mm -hmm. know someone who got it, it really opened your eyes to this is really happening. Yeah. This is a real thing that we're struggling with. And I just hope you guys are healthy at home. And I know it's hard. 
And sometimes you can't prevent what happens in the world. And mm-hmm. I wish we could. But this is a time to be more compassionate. It is wild to me that there are still just, like, negative things happening online, like online bullying and things like that. I'm just like, do y'all know what we're going through right now? <laughs> like, this is a time for But people do have a lot of time on their hands uh, right now. That's for vibes, sure. You know, I can go on. I can talk forever, I feel like. So I'm just going to end this now. Again, I tag you if you are watching this. Um... And I know there are some YouTubers who watch me, so you better do this. I I'm watching, watch girl. I did it with you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you don't have to do it. <laughs> anyways, I did it with I you. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I gotta say, I enjoyed that video. It, her spirit was lively. She wasn't so draining. She wasn't playing a victim. She wasn't trolling. She wasn't just doing the things that she normally does. I enjoy. This is the Amberlynn I enjoy. When she's not monetizing her addiction, not making a mockery of obesity. Even though is, this, is it silly of a video? Is it very entertaining? Is it? It's entertaining enough, especially with the times that we're in right now. It's entertaining enough. I enjoyed this. Her hair was done. Her, she was just more lively. She was just more palatable. She really was. I enjoyed this video. I'm not going to lie. I did talk a bit too much, so I apologize for that, but I enjoyed it. I definitely did. And I hope you guys remember, be better today than you were yesterday and greater tomorrow than you will be today. Later.